We've got some fiddleheads here. You take about two inches off the bottom. These are a type of giant fern. And those are right at the perfect stage for eating. And they're really easy to clean. Um, these are at the right stage. These are too far. And see how the leaves started to unfurl here? Those ones are too far. But those ones are perfect at the base. You want this one too? Yeah. Yeah? About one inch, and these are too far. So you see how they unfurled? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have to find the ones along. without going. Down. So you're looking for this. To, and you leave about one to two inches on the bottom before it unfurls. So if you look close, you'll see a bunch. These are a different species. They're still edible, but they don't taste as good, and they're tiny. They're red. And those are type of fiddlehead too. They're red. So if you look, they'll be poking through the leaves. Now that you see one, see them all? You'll see them all. And you don't have to take them all. So I won't take them all, but I will take like three or four from each. I found another. Plant. Self of water, just cleaning them to get these husk off. So, all you do transfer them in. Now, I'm going to rinse this bowl out really quick so I can transfer the cleaned ones into this bowl. And just take them and then work them in the salted water like that. And the majority of the husk come right off all by themselves. This right here, see, pull that off. They come out nice and I do them one at a time. It's kind of monotonous, but the majority of them, it all comes off just from working them like this. Shrub them around into the salted water. And working them out as you get them clean one at a time. On the side, I'm pulling the husk over here. And that's it. Okay, so I got all of them transferred over here. Now I'm gonna give them, fill this up one more time with ice cold water, and I'm gonna allow anything else to float to the top. And I'm just gonna give it a sprinkle of salt into the water. There's about two and a half to three cups of water in there. Just a little bit. work that in. Then I'm going to take them, put it like that, and stick those in the fridge overnight. Okay, these fiddleheads have been soaking in that salt water, that lightly salted water, for a couple days now. Now I'm going to transfer them over into some boiling water. Got my water at a rapid boil. I'm going to take my fiddleheads and put them in the boiling water. The water just returned to a boil because my fiddleheads are ice cold. Now I'm going to let, once it starts boiling, I'm going to let that go for two minutes. I got the timer set. Transfer it after two minutes, direct it from there into an ice water bath. I'm going to transfer them out of that ice bath onto some paper towel and dry them off. Just pat them dry on the paper towels. And then the magic happens. We're going to wrap these some bitches in some ramp greens and or leek greens and wrap them in bacon. Put them in the air fryer. Okay, I'm gonna prepare a few wheat greens for wrapping. Cut the stalks off. And then what I'm gonna do, any thick part of the center line, I'm just gonna slice them in half like so. That way, there we go. Cut that center line out of the leaf. Like that. So all you're left with is these nice little, and they, when you roll them, they don't break.
Yeah, that's enough to get me started. Got myself a pound of bacon. Cut that in half. Start with your bacon. Take your leek. Lay it on top of the bacon. Fiddlehead down and roll. And repeat. See how many of these I can get done. All right, got them all done up. Season with a little bit of pepper. Then into the air fryer. Girls, snack time fiddleheads are done. What do you think of fiddlehead firms? Green beans. Tastes like green beans. Give me a Ooh, what? Ooh, what? <laughs> bacon wrapped leek and fiddleheads. Fucking amazing. Pairs lovely with a fiddlehead IPA.